in just a few minutes. We're just waiting for a few more guests. Give a good job and watch yourself up. I'll say it in a few while this time. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, the ceremony is about to begin. For all of you in attendance, please silence your clock. We have time to talk to you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Second Lieutenant Kate Ashley. I'm the narrator of this morning's ceremony. We appreciate your attendance here and then also at this one lecture. I want to conduct this momentous occasion out of abundance of precaution during the COVID 19 pandemic. We've made minor ceremonial adjustments to observe social distancing guidelines. Before we begin the ceremony, we'd like to recognize the family members of the official party, the wife of the presiding officer, his name is Amy Ryan. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Farner's wife, Heidi, and their five children, Hannah, Megan, Jonathan, Emily, and Daniel, his mother, Claudia Farner, and his aunt, Linda Moore. Lieutenant Colonel Shinsky's husband, Lieutenant Colonel Michael Shinsky, their children, Cooper and Brody, her parents, Mr. and Mrs. Dean and Connie Ball. <laughs> and now to recognize our distinguished guest, the 42nd Air Base Wing Vice Commander, Colonel Jeremy Reed. <laughs> the 42nd Air Base Wing Command Chief, Chief Master Sergeant, Mike Brody. We also recognize all our distinguished guests and visitors here in attendance on the live stream. Today we pay tribute to Lieutenant Colonel Matthew Farmer as he relinquishes command and responsibility of the 42nd Contractor Squadron to Lieutenant Colonel Miranda Mashinsky. Our presiding official for today's ceremony is the commander of the 42nd Division Support Group, Colonel Scott A. Bryan. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and observe the arrival of the official party, the singing of the national anthem by the Scott Channel Web, and the invocation.
we are so glad that uh, you have been part of our community and how and we have in the many ways in which your dad has made a difference in our lives and how he could not have accomplished all that he did without all of you. Well, the Shinsky family, Uncle Mike and Cooper and Brody, they are joining us from their last assignment at Wright Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio, where Miranda has been serving as the Director of Contracting and the Propulsion Acquisition Directorate for Agile Combat Support. We also welcome her parents, Dean and Khan, who were in visiting with us from the drive in Phoenix, Arizona. Welcome to the Becky. <laughs> We are also welcome uh, Miranda's younger brother, Seth, and his wife, Emily, who are joining us online uh, from Phoenix, Arizona, as well. And then if I had to bet, we were talking the other day, that there's a Matt and Aaron Hurst that are tuning in. Um, Matt, thank you. Uh, back when we were together in Dover as squadron commanders, you were, were SCAR's squadron, and I was team squadron. Uh, in that first uh, squadron command, you helped set the tone for uh, what a contract squadron commander uh, can and should be, and now I get to see a different side of your friendship and influence to the Lashinskis. So I hope all is well with you. Miranda and Mike, you have tackled the PCS during the pandemic, and that's probably just the first of many hurdles that uh, you'll tackle as the command family. We're all looking forward to getting to know one. For an Air Force family like the Farners and Lashinskis, we know the definition of family reaches far past those who raised us and those whom we go home to at night. Family is quite simply put, those with whom we fight with. And for the partners for the past 1,106 days, or 26,544 hours and about 30 minutes, um, you've been taking command on since the 7th of July, 2017. And you've done life with the amazing family. You realize the squadron, the colleagues and families in the wing, and our university partners, our neighbors, your church friends, and all others in the um, urban region. This past year with Matt and his family, we got to see firsthand what family looks like. We have a partner in the presence. Our 42nd Mission Support Group family thrives because of what makes each commander unique. And Matt, our family would not have been nearly as strong without you. Your closest peers and fellow commanders echo what we feel about you the best. And allow me to share just a few of their thoughts on the fingerprints that you helped me. Thanks for being here, guys. That's good to see you all. Once said, Matt was the first commander to reach out to me when I heard that uh, I was coming to Maxwell. He's been there for me as a Senate board and two boss, where it's kind and always there, quite true. Matt is an extremely caring leader and teammate. He and his family are willing to go several extra miles to take care of the entire team for two families. One said, from that, I have learned that support from fellow commanders goes a long way, particularly in the thick of things like this pandemic. Once we started to dry run for the one of the immersions that we are seeing on in Missouri, um, this commander sat next to Matt in Missouri. This is one of the first interactions that they've had with him and the other MSG commanders. He said Matt was so attentive and complimentary during our conversation. In the stressful situation, he was disarming and made me feel like part of the team. It's true for everything you do. Others describe Matt as observant and optimistic and as a humble servant leader that is focused on family and developing his people. You quickly learn that you can count on Matt and his team to get through any difficult, complex contract issue. Matt, for me, some of the roles that I've observed you flawlessly taking within our group in the wing included problem solving. You worked everything that you could within your team and across the squadrons and units. Every issue you and your team tapped Tackling had a different challenge, but that's one of the exciting aspects of working in contracting. You see a, such a wide span of all the different units, all the different missions, and how they support the overall Air Force mission. Every day, every transaction, every purchase, every interaction with contractors and customers, you are, are different and equally critical to the multitude of customers and missions that you serve. You lead with integrity. You have a perfect blend of being flexible without compromising your integrity or the integrity of the Air Force and the taxpayers. Thank you so much for being that first example that you set for countless others. You actively listen. 
Those of you who know math know what I'm trying to say or wrap words around. Uh, you truly listen. You're present. You let others speak. You ask good questions and take the conversation much deeper. You're a problem solver, strong work ethic, active listener. Those are also the hallmarks of another farmer. I mean, you have brought those traits so, and so many others, heartfelt attributes to this community over the past three years. Who in the room has not had one of Heidi's welcome to family warm loaf of bread? I'm sorry. <laughs> but better than her warm bread is her warm personality. Heidi could have blessed more people than we probably ever know, or maybe have even never met in the years here. Thanks for serving as a key spouse mentor and, um, and all the different positions and, and aspects that you do just by being on the part of Team Hard um, for the 40 Second Comes Part. And for being somebody that anyone knew that they could come to in times of joy or hardship. Your presence was immensely felt and will be immensely missed. Matt and family, as you leave, you are forever part of the Maxwell Hunter family. A favorite memory that I have may sound simple, but it was the venue that your team chose for Holly Park. The historic home in Montgomery, Amy and I walked in from the rain after being to the other events that night, and walking in was like one of those uh, front porch looking in moments. Um, it was kind of quiet, you come in a little bit late, everybody had gathered around and was eating, but you heard family. You heard the talking, the laughter, you heard conversations, and people sharing around the table, memories, and good food. If a location or moment could illustrate you as a leader, I think it was that idea of location that illustrated you. A home. Finally, to Megan, Hannah, Emily, Jonathan, Daniel, I know that you and your mom are the favorite parts of your dad's day. We recognize and thank you for sharing with us for the many hours that stole away, particularly around the end of the year. I would bet if your birthdays were right around the end of the year. That gets tricky. But all the brands are going to miss uh, getting away to you and away to you when you're walking right around the walks in the neighborhood. I look forward to that to uh, the time up to me. To the listeners in here. So happy that you call the National Winter your home. And more than welcome to all of you and your family for the extended Air Force family that you bring up there. You will be welcomed by a high-performing Andrew Squadron who is eager to continue to deliver the mission for the wing and our three plus organizations. Brandon and Mike, welcome back to where it all began for you. As so it's good to be you both professionally and personally. This is home to where you met and uh, started out on your together journey. We're glad that you're back and your love and friendship continue to bloom and yield such beautiful results in Cooper and Grove. You can tell immediately that family is important to you. You can already tell the excitement in your voice and what this opportunity means to you and what it means to be back in a squad of command seat and navigate the challenges of your life and mission as well as. To navigate it with people that we depend on and depend on you. To build new bond and experiences. Share both the tears and smiles that some come with the best and worst of days and the pros life our way. But also not just lead from the traditional Air Force military perspective that we all think about, but also lead from the example that you're setting and showing to people who are and how you want to, them to grow up and emulate how you want them to care for people and the community around them. They're watching you, and they'll remember, as one of those who are all waiting to get to know you in the squad. I'm convinced that the Air Force gave us absolutely the right person with the right experiences for what the squadron will need over the course of the next three years. Your record is impeccable. Your experiences in the contracting and acquisition community are diverse. And to take a look through, I encourage you to take a look through your bio at some point. Guaranteed there's something in there that will pique your interest. Whether it's your time in the Air Force Academy as an instructor of English, assistant, or the GD. Of the uh, of faculty, uh, her time as the 14th contracting squadron commander over at Columbus Air Force Base, perhaps as, the, as chief of the career field development branch at SAF acquisitions up in the Pentagon, 
for a time working on her master's in English uh, at the University of Hawaii. No, I do not want to read any books in this stuff. You're going to blow some of this away with, uh, with the backgrounds and stuff you've heard. Um, but um, also, your experience as an expeditionary squadron uh, to be a contracting officer while you were at the line in Iraq during the field of times. Get to know her. She's here for you, and she's here to get to know you and offer herself and her experiences and her expertise where she can. Lean and kind. Now, let me share something that I shared um, and will share with all the other parents. And this goes true for Matt and his parents, and, and I shared this with the uh, class change of command with uh, Austin and his parents come in. But something that I truly mean and really want you to know and understand. I, I know how proud you are of Miranda and her family. And I know how special you know that this day is for her. You've helped prepare her for what I can tell you will be one of the most profound experiences of her career. There is nothing more humbling or rewarding as a slaughter commander. The pen that she wears now, a little lapel, indicates her position as commander means something and is elevated only by the people and the influences of those around her. As one of those biggest influencers and most meaningful of her cheering section, let me thank you on behalf of the Air Force for raising her up so that she may be here today to help elevate others. As you'll head back to Phoenix, know that uh, you'll not be here alone. That um, I'll say that not be here alone. We're here and um, looking forward to what all team machines brings to, to this area to our, our beautiful. And also for my parents out in Albuquerque. Uh, Chief, as you know, this is a shared experience, and we're just as happy with what Mike brings to the mission as well. So welcome, Mike. Last but certainly not least, to the members of the 42nd Contracting Squadron, your family is strong. Your family will only gets stronger with the leadership of Lieutenant Colonel Lushinsky. I want you to celebrate all that you've accomplished under the leadership of Lieutenant Colonel Farner and look forward to all that you have accomplished by the next three, three years. The accomplishments that you'll hear in just a minute in Lieutenant Alfarner's declaration are your accomplishments. You're a major part of the engine that makes the Air Forces go. Thanks again for all that you do and the pride in which you do it. And with that, let's present the decoration and mark witness to the smile stone of the flags conveyed from one community to another. Thank you again. Thank you, Governor Ryan. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and give a presentation. Oh, the order. Attention to order. Citation to accompany the award of meritorious service to Lieutenant Colonel Matthew A. Farner from 7 July 2017 to 17 July 2020. Lieutenant Colonel Matthew A. Farner distinguished himself in performance of outstanding service to the United States as Commander, 42nd Contractor Squadron, 42nd Mission Support Group, 42nd Air Base Wing, Maxwell Air Base Alabama. During this period, Colonel Farner expertly managed 81 military and civilian airmen and a $1.1 billion contract portfolio for Air University, the 42nd Air Base Wing, and 44 mission partners across six different locations. He assumed responsibility of the major command's second largest government purchase card program with over 20,000 actions worth $10 million and deputized 470 contracting officers. He led Air headquarters Air Force $95 million Air Force credentialing after active duty and after return to the civilian sector. Colonel Farner led the charge for a Secretary of the Air Force directed groundbreaking innovative educational partnership between Air University and Arizona State University, supporting 28,000 students and revolutionizing Air Force distance learning education. In addition, he shattered the Air Force's small business goals by 38% and achieved 100% of category targets. His outstanding professional skills and leadership led to the expedited contract award of $1.1 million in coronavirus emergency response goods and services. The singularly distinctive accomplishments of Colonel Farner reflect great credit upon himself and the United States Air Force. Signed, Patrick J. Carley, Colonel, United States Air Force, Commander, 42nd Air Base Wing. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. And please welcome the commander of the 42nd Contractor Squadron, 
Lieutenant Colonel Matthew Farn. Colonel Reed Chief Morgan, men and women of the 14th Gun Dragon Squadron, plus friends and family, both in the audience and watching virtually, thank you for taking time out of your schedules to be part of this important event. Over the last few years, I've truly enjoyed giving remarks and appreciating events, whether it's retirement or promotion. And I've always tried to be what I call the three S rule. Keep it short, sweet, and sit back down. And I'll promise to hear that rule today. This is a season of change of commands. If you haven't been in, if you've been in any recently, or see one virtually, it makes sense a common theme of thankfulness. And to give you a sneak peek of what I'm going to talk about over the next few minutes, I'll go ahead and tell you that my remarks today will be along the same path. As everything you heard uh, in list of the declaration has very little to do with my efforts, but instead the collective work of the talented men and women of the 46th Contract Explorer. 1,106 days ago, on the 7th of July, 2017, at 10.30 in the morning, I was in this very room, and the privilege to take command of the 42nd Contract Explorer. But being a commander doesn't mean that you know all the answers or can make it all happen uh, on your own, especially with all the tasks you need to charge of doing. It takes a well oiled machine, team rather, and for that, my utmost appreciation for the 3 thing one individuals assigned to the 42nd Contract Explorer. Let me start with a very capable Second Lieutenant Kate Ashley and Staff Sergeant Jacob Bankson, the combined efforts we're putting together to promote this, promote this ceremony today. Lieutenant Ashley, both your professionalism and gift of public speaking is a natural fit for your narrative role. Thank you for taking this on. Additionally, Staff Sergeant Jacob Bankson in the back of the room back there, I truly think you've got the second AFSC in putting on special events. Three years ago today, you did my uh, ceremony, and six weeks later, you did my lieutenant, you did my promotion ceremony, Lieutenant Colonel. Both work, not surprisingly, with my Steve flawlessly. You are a natural, dependable leader and a fire free NCO that I relied on in the last few years. And I know your free future will continue to be bright. You'll probably end with the senior master sergeant chief thanks on your uniform. Thank you for your leadership, sir. Thanks. Speaking of today's ceremony, I'll be remiss if I did not mention Ms. Tatiana Webb and her wonderful redemption of the, of the national anthem. In case you did not know, Tatiana had to audition. And be competitive this way for the city at those functions. Thank you, Dr. Yon. Thank you all also to Chaplain Kathy Scott and her invocation prayer, as well as you and your chaplain teams creatively finding ways to minister and serve Aaron during these difficult times. Speaking of chaplains, I'd also like to thank the two unit chaplains that have been signed to 42 Commons during my time here. Chaplain Captain Zachary Goza, plus Captain Chaplain Ben Shelton. These two men of God have been faithfully ministering to all military and civilian personnel assigned to 42 pounds, whether it's been lifting them up in prayer, helping in marriage or relationship, or even just a listening ear. Thank you both for being there and serving above and beyond. When I think about other personnel, Colonel Carly, you're one of the most humble, gracious, self sacrificing senior leaders I've ever met. Thank you for trusting me to lead the 42 pounds over the last few years that you've been at the helm. Colonel Bryant, you are a rock solid, served leader of the utmost integrity. You gave me lots of autonomy and always have my back. In addition, you just understand the proper balance between work and life, and you lived it out. You're an example for our parents to make or break one's experience as a squad commander. My time with you was characterized by collaboration, partnership, helping each other, and just to be quite frank, having fun too. I know that Miranda is looking forward to getting to know you in the weeks and months ahead. In my 18 years of contracting, my experience has been that we personally do not do enough to thank our contractors. I remember back to my first year in Iraq back in 2005, I worked alongside the contractors. Many of them blew, blew, do what they do, believe in what they do, and view it as a way of serving that great nation. We are an excellent way of contractors performing in different capacities 24 7, 365. And for many of them, it is not a job, but instead of calling, it's something that they believe in. Even though many of them are not wearing the uniform now, or they may have worn before. Thank you for your service and partnership with the Maxwell Gunner team. My talk today does not allow me to address all 51 individuals assigned to the 42nd contract this morning. Allow me to quickly speak to our front office and our flight chiefs. Ms. Sonia Turner, I understand you're listening online today, our Commodity's flight chief. You've been in the squadron for the for 25 years. You are a rarity that you love and care about the airmen, the junior listed, brand new lieutenants you throw your way, copper caps, and civilians assigned to your flag. 
You're also fiercely dedicated to mission execution, including doing it correctly and on time in our early. Your enthusiasm and passion for life in our union is courageous. Thank you for everything you've done, Mr. Herman. From Mark Stott, see Mark Dimitins today, our service supply chief. Hiring Mark into the service supply chief position 18 months ago in January 2019 was, without exaggeration, one of the top five decisions I made during my time. Mark, you are an unflappable, knowledgeable, servant leader who gets 120% whatever you do, all the while you're away to get the yes within the framework of our rules. Your leadership efforts and dedication are the key to transforming my most complex life and making more customer service and supporting you and responsible. I have rested easily with you at the helm, Mark. Thank you. And Ms. Paulette Montgomery Troy, I see her in the back this morning. And for those in the audience today who may be looking for a lawyer or a prosecutor, I think you need to consider Ms. Montgomery Troy. I think back to the Corona Conference, I think we've been doing the Corona Conference of Sherry Maxwell in February 2019, she was a contracting officer for commodity wise, includes some small dollar printers. The contractor up in Birmingham just couldn't get together and get the printers down here in time. I sat in many of Ms. Montgomery Choi's office and she spoke to the contractor and his response was something similar to, I don't care what you do, fly the printers down here from Birmingham, drive them, put them on a packing bill, they will be here tomorrow. And they were. That's who Ms. Montgomery Choi is. Thanks to her efforts uh, and her love and passion for her work, all the while doing it by the book. She also ensures that we have excellent stewards of taxpayer dollars, accounting for every penny. Additionally, if you didn't know, Ms. McGurry Choi has a natural knack for putting on together events, whether it's baby showers, weddings, retirement ceremonies, a truly honorable individual. Thank you, Ms. McGurry Choi. Mr. Griffiths, Whit Griff, he's in the audience today. Built our unit about 15 years, retiring out um, of the 42 pound superintendency 13 years ago. But I do not think the awesome. You change. You, I, I think back to my second week on the job in 2017 when I had to call you about last minute tasks at headquarters long after you had gone home. The day, the day was long, but you came in and handled it, never thinking or asking for monetary or time off for compensation that you were entitled to. You were the constant team player with a get her done attitude, believing in what you do, supporting the mission of your team at all costs, all while humbly sharing that with others. I'm now turning my front office staff. Oh. Sally Taylor, I see you in the back today. The Sally, she known has been my UBC for three years. Her punctuality is comparable to a Swiss watch. <laughs> but more importantly, she faithfully, faithfully does her job with precision, passion, and innovation. She's a point of contact with so many programs, understands CPO regulations, almost as if she wrote it herself, and has the utmost of integrity, and genuinely blesses and helps those around her with her encouraging spirit. Team Master Kimberly Steele, about a year ago, the MSG first sergeant came out of my office and said, You know, Colonel Farner, we really don't have any, don't have any problems, 40 miles, there any phone calls, things are largely very smooth up here. What are you doing in your unit? And my response was essentially, I don't get the credit for this first sergeant, it belongs to Team Master Kimberly Steele. She believes in having both high standards and great morale. She actively mentors our enlisted personnel, junior officers, and civilians. She knows our airmen. She so calls spade a spade when she needs to. It praises her airmen when they deserve it. She believes in them too. I've loved running ideas off you over the last year. I think one of the things I've asked you most are what are your thoughts about this? But when I ask you for your thoughts, typically your input was a lot better than mine. You represent the, our, you represent the best of our senior in CO4. I look forward to seeing your name on my chief list sometime in your next assignment at 39 pounds in insulin. Thank you for being such a strong wingman. wingman. Ms. Gladys Johnson. You've been for 40 new cons for over 30 years. Passionately love yourself, your precious time, and your knowledge, all with the energy and enthusiasm of a 20 year old. One of my best memories of Ms. Johnson go back to my second year here. We were working with the RBC Harvard Nation Project. You might be familiar to Ms. Gary Troy and Ellie Brew. Late at night, about 11 30, we were in our office, and I said, I'm going home. The next morning, I had an email from Ms. Johnson at 1 30 in the morning giving me an update. When I arrived at the office at 8 in the morning, I was not expecting to see Ms. Johnson there, but she was. No, she didn't sleep in the office. But that's just the dedication, the dedication, and passion that Ms. Johnson has. And I bet Ms. Johnson, your time card did not reflect all the extra hours you worked over the years. You're one of the most generous people I know. I speak for Heidi and I and our five kids. 
and say, we'll miss you when we move. Thank you for everything. Final thanks for Heidi, the best friend of life partner, and the five kids here today, Anna, Megan, John, and Emily. My success of 18 years lives, with her Arcanian efforts, managing the home front, all while I travel the streets of Baghdad and Kabul, wherever I am in the world. Thank you for being patient when I said I'll be on in 10 minutes and you can add zero to that with 100 minutes. Firmly believe I you are the running for the world's best mom and wife. I look forward to starting this new chapter of our lives together as a family in Berlin. Thank you for everything. The men and women of the 42nd County of Squadron, you don't get to choose your commander, but you choose how you respond to him or her. And that response to me is characterized by grace, hospitality, and friendship. And that's the extent of the hiding of kids as well. Thank you for making it a privilege to leave you in the next three years. Miranda, what a small world it is that you were classmates with my sister Katie in the Air Force Academy 18 years ago, and now our family's linked up again. It's been a joy and fun to get to know you better the last couple days. I wish you luck, but you're not going to need it. The squadron will need an upgrade today with you at the helm. In closing, Heidi and I wish you, Mike, Cooper, and Brody all the best as you begin this exciting journey in your lives in the Army. I know that men and women of the 42nd Contract Squadron will be proud. Thank you. Thank you, sir. At this time, we're Lieutenant Colonel Lashinsky, please join Lieutenant Colonel Bonner for the change of command ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand. Publish the order. Attention orders under provisions of Air Force Instruction G-20-004. By order of Colonel Scott Bryant, commander of the 42nd Mission Support, Lieutenant Colonel Matthew Bonner relinquishes command of the 42nd Contracting Squadron to Lieutenant Colonel Miranda S. Lashinsky, effective 17 July 2004. Officers, post. Sir, relinquish command. Effective 17 July 2020, Lieutenant Colonel Moreno Lashinsky assumes command of the 42nd Contract Squadron, Master Force Base, Alabama. Sir, I assume command. Sir, I relinquish command. Sir, I relinquish command. Sir, I relinquish command. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the new commander of the 42nd Contractor Squadron, Lieutenant Colonel Moreno Lachinsky. Thanks for missing me. I didn't trip yet, so I guess we're on the right foot. Well, good morning. Thank you so much for being here and sharing in this special event for your 42nd Contractor Squadron. Whether you're physically present here in the room or online, thank you for taking time out of your day to participate in this change of command. Colonel, Colonel Reed, sir, thank you so much for being here today. I'm honored to have this opportunity to be part of the best time time in the Air Force. Colonel Bryant, sir, thank you so much for officiating today's ceremony and for the very warm welcome that you and Amy both have provided to Mike, Cooper, Brody, and me. Thank you. When we spoke earlier this year, I was struck with how proud you sounded when speaking about comments and the work they do to provide timely, effective, professional, and innovative support to the base. Thank you for energizing us months in advance to be part of this team. And in the wake of COVID-19 impacts, you provided a calm perspective that put us in the best position for a smooth PCS and command transition. We truly appreciate your support and are excited to be part of your team. Chief Morgan, fellow squadron commanders, and mission partners across Maxwell and Gunter, I'm excited for this opportunity to work with you. Thank you for taking time today to honor our 42nd contract in squadron. I look forward to meeting you and working with you over the next few years. To Lieutenant Colonel Farner, Matt, thank you for leading 42 cons so well these past three years. And I'm also glad that we had the opportunity to meet last year at the Contract and Worldwide event. Your passion for this unit was evident even from our first meeting. And I truly enjoyed learning about the squadron through your eyes. You and Heidi worked so hard to develop an inclusive, family-friendly culture, and I appreciate that level of dedication and commitment you poured into our airmen every day and our families. Thank you. Team Lashinsky sends our very, very best wishes to Team Farner as you start your next adventures in DC and Germany. 
To my incredible family and friends, both present and watching online, Mike and I are so blessed that you are such active members in our lives. Thank you for your support and your encouragement always. I so appreciate how you love our Air Force family and our mission. This space is incredibly special to Mike and me, as Colonel Bryant mentioned. And it's so great to be back now with you, Grant Brody. You're kind of sleeping right now. <laughs> Thank you for opening your hearts to our new Air Force family members in our new Alabama adventures. To the men and women of the 42nd Contracting Squadron, I'm truly honored to walk with you and to work with you as we provide outstanding contract support to all of our mission partners across the 42nd Air Force Wing. This space has an awesome mission in both senses of the word, both very big and super cool. What a privilege it is to serve as mission-focused business leaders here. And I have to tell you that when the command list was released last winter, two of your previous commanders immediately emailed me to tell me what a phenomenal squadron this is. And it's because of you. You are so loved, and be loved is incredible. Your teamwork, your passion for teaching your fellow cons colleagues, and your dedication to the Maxwell mission left a lasting impact on them and gave me a tremendously exciting first impression. I really look forward to building on this legacy and creating a bit of our own history together. Finally, a special thank you to Sergeant Mason and Lieutenant Ashley for organizing today's ceremony. I know planning and executing events like this takes a lot of time, and I appreciate it. This is fantastic. On behalf of 40 Second Cons, thank you all again for being here today and sharing this moment with our awesome squad. Thank you. Thank you, Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the Air Force song and the departure of the initial party. Now, note due to COVID 19 restrictions, your singing would be projectile virus in your books. I'm not going to stand for stand it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 